We're over here by outside the Hotel Bennett, guys. I want to take a quick look at this really quickly. Windows are being shattered here at the Hotel Bennett. Uh, we're hearing lots of destruction at the Hotel Bennett. Uh, we just got here on the corner. We're showing you the destruction that we're seeing here at the Hotel Bennett. We're going to walk down this way a little more so you can see the different things. You can see a brick here on the road. Uh, we're hearing some, 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 some sort of gas or something is being thrown at crowds here. Uh, we're hearing lots of noises, pops. Uh, people are kind of running around at this point. Um, and we're showing you all the Hotel Bennett here on the corner. This would be like the restaurant. It's on the end next to Virginia's. Uh, we're here on the corner of King and Hudson. Um, so you're getting a look at what we're seeing here on the corner by Hotel Bennett. Um, things have now settled down. They're, they're kind of pushing down King Street uh, towards, you know, away from Hotel Bennett, the opposite direction. Um, we're going to keep following this, but people are starting to run this way. The cops are still back on the corner where we last talked to you. They really didn't move from that position as people came this way towards Hotel Bennett. And let's get another look at this side of Hotel Bennett. You can see again, the windows have just been knocked out, smashed, really uh, shattered on the corner of Hotel Bennett. Again, this is the corner of King and Hudson Street and people are continuing to move up King Street. Um, right now, things have just calmed down. It was really quick. Uh, we hear a lot of pops, we hear a lot of destruction and now it's gone. So uh, we're gonna continue to move up King Street. We're gonna keep bringing you live reports. We're gonna keep telling you what's going on. Uh, there's still a helicopter flying overhead, but again, those police that were pushing protesters back stayed where they were they didn't come down and again more windows as we walk along king street have been busted out so that's virginia's here on king street again right across from hotel bennett just to give you an idea so again we're going to continue being live we're going to show you what's going on down here on king street and throughout downtown charleston as the night goes on again live in downtown charleston riley benson count on two stand by stand by Okay, I am here. I'm kind of down the street. Come over here, David. Let, let me. We have a, a, an individual who has now started to argue with some of the protesters. Law enforcement has come over trying to get him to stop arguing with the protester. Uh, there's. It's very, very tense out here. A number of of men have kind of stood here in the middle of the road here at Marion Square on King Street, uh, kind of like a you know standing up, I guess, if you will, to the, the law enforcement officers who are here in riot gear. Uh, you can see uh, this is a, it's not as, it's not as, as, as uh, tense right this second where I'm located. Where Riley was, or where Riley is, is kind of right down the street here. That's Hotel Bennett, uh, kind of behind where I'm at right now. You can see in both directions here, uh, law enforcement uh, vehicles have blocked off basically both directions here on Calhoun, of course, King Street meeting pretty much this entire area of Charleston is blocked off right now and you can see here's a wall of law enforcement here at King Street they have attempted to kind of move forward a little bit from time to time or at least one time they did that and then uh, protesters did kind of push their way back toward law enforcement but they are holding King Street here uh, there are things you know there's I, I see glass uh, you know from some of the businesses here on King Street you can see that you know people had uh, you know, doing some destruction as they were walking down King Street. And like I said a little while ago, they actually did try to grab the camera you're, you're watching uh, us on right here and throw it on the ground. But um, fortunately, David was able to prevent that. Uh, anyhow, that's what's going on here in downtown Charleston over at Marion Square. I'm Raymond Owens. Back to you. Raymond Riley, thank you so much for monitoring conditions down there. We're going to continue to keep you updated. As you can see in those reports, the protests and demonstrations have taken a pretty intense turn in downtown Charleston. Um, as you can see, breaking news, Hotel Bennett's windows were being smashed by people downtown. Some other businesses have windows smashed as well. The area police, city of Charleston police are asking everyone to stay away from this area at the moment. I believe we're going to try and go back to uh, Riley Benson live in downtown. Riley, are you standing by? Okay, yeah. yeah, Taylor, we're down here. We're in front of a store along King Street, and I am actually standing here with the owner of this store and, sir, your, your building. I, I'm the landlord, and uh, these are one of our tenants, and this probably happened to probably 10 of our buildings tonight. What is 10. This, what does this mean to you? I mean, I, you're seeing this in real time. I'm, I'm devastated, and I'm actually shocked that this is happening in our city. I mean, I'm having dinner at halls with guests from, from New York City, and this is what I got to walk out to tonight? No, this is ridiculous. I mean, this is, I mean, hoodlums on the street, hoodlums. And no police presence, I'm sorry. There's none. I don't know what to say. What, I mean, what would you tell the people who are out here tonight? You know, I, to be honest, you know, half the people are, are, are 
are devastated by this in the reactions. This is not Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know where all these people are coming from, but you can look at the streets now. It, it is mayhem, and there's nobody to break this up. It, it's This is not about Minneapolis. I mean, Minneapolis, we all agree, should have never happened. But why are we doing this to our city? That it, it, It's wrong. I mean, it's... So, uh, thank you. I no, appreciate thank it. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Taylor, and we're standing by, but you're going to get another look again. You can see several windows like this in this gentleman's store, along with Hotel Bennett, which is just down the corner. We haven't moved far from the last time you heard from us. We're seeing several windows like this at many stores here on King Street. Just, I mean, devastation. There's bricks laying on the road, everything. Um, so we're going to, again, continue to stay on this. We're going to continue to see what's going on here on King Street and in downtown Charleston. We're going to bring you live updates again through the night. Um, but again, an act of seeing something that I don't think I've ever seen in my lifetime, for sure, never in my lifetime, and hopefully I'll never have to see this again in my lifetime. Live from downtown oh, Charleston, Raleigh Benson, there. count on two. Right now. But um, I had a, a gentleman ask me a minute ago, what's going to happen at 11 o'clock when, the, when the, um, the curfew goes into effect for Charleston County? Oh, and by the way, Charleston County... We just received notice that Charleston County's council is having an emergency meeting as well. I would imagine that is um, that is due, obviously, to the the um, curfew that will take place at 11 p.m. Because that curfew will not be just the city of Charleston, but it will actually include Charleston County as a whole. So that would be my guess. That's going to be one of the the main things they're going to be discussing at the Charleston County Council meeting that's going to take place, that emergency meeting uh, being uh, scheduled for this evening. And um, you can see on the ground here, this is kind of what a lot of the protesters have been throwing, just bottles of water. And you can see a number of those here on the ground here in, in Cal on, on Calhoun, in the middle of Calhoun and King. Uh, they've been throwing those kind of steadily as we've been out here uh, toward law enforcement and expressing their, their displeasure. And uh, like I said, uh, the, the, uh, Chief Reynolds told me earlier that while we were doing our press conference earlier, if you saw the press conference with the mayor and Chief Reynolds, he said that you know individuals were uh, doing illegal activities as he was holding that press conference. Uh, we understand at least a police car, maybe more than one, uh, uh, was set, set on fire and kind of near the market from where we're at, not right here at this location, but kind of back toward the market from where we are here by Marion Square. But, um, I see a number of police cars are actually turning around, actually driving off from this location here. I can see that they've been kind of steady sitting here in the road for a while. Now they're all driving down Calhoun Street toward meeting from where we're located right now. And I'm trying to get an idea of where, which direction they may be turning. It looks like they may be heading, I don't know if they're turning off of Calhoun, or it looks like they may be turning right, maybe onto Meeting Street, or in that direction at least. Um, that's the first time I've seen law enforcement kind of leave this area, at least the vehicles. We still have a number of, number of officers right here next to us uh, that are in riot gear, just preparing to, to handle whatever's happening here tonight. Whatever this is, this is something you just don't see in Charleston, South Carolina. That's We are in an alley here on King Street. We just kind of ducked in oh, just past that store we were just at a couple minutes ago when we talked to you. Um, we're hearing different things. We're seeing a lot of different things. We're seeing a lot of people now work their way back up King Street, back towards Marion Square, back towards Hotel Bennett, kind of where the area where we first started. Um, we're hearing a lot of loud noises, a lot of um, just loud noises right now. We're seeing a lot of destruction. Um, things have kind of calmed back down now right where we're standing as people have made their way back up King Street. And again, we're kind of tucked in an alley. This is right next to the store. We just did that live interview with the landlord of the building. Um, the helicopter's still flying over top of us. We haven't seen any cop cars down the street right now. Um, but again, a lot of loud noises. Um, we're seeing some, some sort of cans, canisters being thrown by 
uh, authorities. We don't know what agencies are here. There's this, uh, obviously a couple different ones, um, but obviously a lot of loud noises. We're going to continue to follow this again uh, live in downtown Charleston. Riley Benson, count on two. Thank you, Riley. We are going to now get um, our reporter Hannah Powers on the phone. Hannah was actually off duty tonight, was having dinner in downtown Charleston with her family a few blocks from Marion Square where Raymond Owens and, of course, Riley Benson are. We're going to try and get her on the phone. Hannah, she was having dinner with her family. She said she was in a restaurant called The Ordinary when something was thrown through the window. And so I want her to share a little bit about what happened over there. Hannah, are you standing by? Taylor, hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, Hannah. Hannah, tell us a little bit about what happened as you were eating dinner with your family. That's right. So I've actually I've locked myself in the bathroom right now so I can talk to you. I'm at dinner at the Ordinary on King Street with my mom and dad, and a heavy object was thrown through the window, and it did hit somebody sitting at the bar, and she started to scream. At that point, the waiter came over to us and told us that the situation had gotten out of hand. Uh, they were using tear gas right outside, um, heavy protest. So at that point, they've locked the doors to the restaurant here. I'm still here, and they have closed all of the blinds um, and, and, you know, encouraging us to stay calm and things like that. But definitely things are, are out of hand, and that woman uh, who was hit sitting at the bar is being treated. But the protests are, are definitely... Violent outside. Um, I'm, I'm glad no one else was hurt, um, and they've encouraged us to just stay here because going outside right now is not a great option. I also, the waitress told me that down by Stig, if you know where that is, um, lower down on King Street, there are really violent protests happening there, um, and that's where the tear gas is being used. So again, just sort of assessing the situation as we go, but but definitely things have escalated as as the night goes on. So. Uh, right now, we're going to stay here at the Ordinary. Uh, we're locked in the building, so feel pretty safe that way. But uh, definitely a, a severe situation outside, Taylor. Absolutely. Hannah, can you tell us a little bit more about the atmosphere in the restaurant right now? I can only imagine people are very afraid at this moment. Yes, and I will tell you, you know, we're taking it all in stride. So I will say the waitress that we have was in tears. Um, very scared and, and lots of screaming just because I don't think any was, anyone was expecting uh, these bricks and these heavy objects to be thrown into the restaurant through the windows um, and, and, and hitting and injuring people. Definitely not what people were expecting. Obviously, we've been aware of the protests happening all day around Charleston, starting out in Marion Square, the Ravenel Bridge, but I don't think people thought they were going to get to this point, you know, not, I don't want to say going after people, but, you know, hurting the woman at the bar and things like that. Uh, and just that heightened atmosphere. So it, it's a lot emotionally and, and understanding everything as it goes on. But people are definitely scared. But right now, the only option is to stay inside the restaurant here. They did tell me they canceled reservations for the rest of the night. Every bar and restaurant on King Street has canceled their reservations for the rest of the night. Um, again, closing the blinds and locking the doors. I can see uh, all the, the blue lights from, from the different police vehicles flashing outside, fire trucks, things like that. There's definitely heavy law enforcement presence trying to handle the situation. Uh, but again, it's just a lot of people, a lot of tension, a lot of feelings, a lot of unrest, and they're doing the best they can to, to manage that. Absolutely. Hannah, I want you to tell us a little bit about what it looked like on King Street when you arrived to the restaurant, because of course, Raymond Owens and Riley, Raymond Owens and Riley Benson are blocks away, and there's a lot of chaos right now. Was that evident when you arrived to the restaurant earlier? Right, right. Well, I will tell you, I've been on King Street all day. I'm out, again, my, my mom and dad are in town, so earlier today we were doing a little bit of shopping, and, and we did see those protests that happened uh, mid to late afternoon where people were walking through the streets. But again, very peaceful protest. People were had their signs and that sort of thing. And then when we showed up to dinner tonight, we had an 8.30 reservation. I will say I had to drive, you know, I couldn't go across the Ravenel Bridge because the Ravenel Bridge was shut down. And so I did kind of have to drive all the way around. But when we got here, everything was fine. And then, again, that brick being thrown probably only about 20 minutes ago now is when things really started to get... Um, to another level, we started seeing the cop cars, the lights flashing through the windows, and that sort of like heightened our awareness of what was happening. And then, of course, the objects being thrown again, 
all the, the glass is broken, all the windows at the front of this restaurant. And, and one of those objects, of course, hitting the woman at the bar. And Absolutely. Injuring her. And, and so they did close the they closed those lines. And, yeah. And again, they're handling the best they can here. Absolutely. We're about to go right back to Marion Square where there is some chaos happening. Hannah, before I let you go really quickly, any update on the condition of the woman at the bar? She, I, think, I think more than anything, it was fear of the situation. She's going to be fine and all of that. They're treating her and, and everybody here is okay. It's just that, that fear of, of not realizing that it could really be that dangerous. Absolutely, Hannah. Well, stay safe with your family. You just heard it right there from one of our News 2 reporters. Hannah Powers having dinner with her family at the Ordinary. Blocks away from Marion Square when a brick was thrown in the window. Everyone is safe at the moment, sheltering in place inside that restaurant. Hannah tells us that many of the restaurants on King Street have currently locked their doors, drawn their blinds, canceled reservations, and are asking people inside to shelter in place for safety, of course. We're going to go to Raymond Owens. I believe he's standing by. Raymond in Marion Square still. Are you with us, Raymond? Go ahead and go to News Choose Riley Benson, who is also near the Marion Square area. Riley? Guys, we're here on the. We're here on King Street, Marion Square is right over my right shoulder. You can see there's a lot going on. A lot of people standing here right now. Um, again, that police presence is further down the road. You can see just a lot of people standing here. This is right, Hotel Ben is right to my right. Um, again, a lot of their windows have been broken out, but people are just kind of congregating right now, just kind of seeing what's going on, um, just trying to see what's going on. There's not a lot of not a lot of talking, not a lot of commotion. I don't really see a whole lot of police presence as of right now. They're again, farther down King Street, on either side of where we're at right now. Um, but guys, we're just we're checking these out, and it's just kind of nothing's really happening right now. People are just kind of standing here, seeing what's going on. We're going to continue bringing live updates throughout the night, though. Again, live from Marion Square, Riley Benson, count on two. Thank you, Riley, and thank you for tuning into our coverage. Of course, a lot is happening right now in downtown Charleston. The city of Charleston police are asking people to stay away from the area. Uh, we have Hannah Powers in downtown Charleston. We have Raymond Owens. We have Riley Benson really monitoring conditions. Protests started out peaceful earlier today around 2 o'clock, but as Chief Luther Reynolds addressed the issue, he said that it's really taken a more chaotic, more violent turn right now. The, the police chief, Luther Reynolds, as well as Mayor John Tecklenburg, say they agree with people who are frustrated and want to protest over um, the, the, the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis earlier in the week. However, they do not condone violence and the, the busting of windows like we've seen tonight. So, like I said, those protests did start peaceful around 2 o'clock as we monitored them, but they have taken quite a turn. So we're going to check back in with News 2's Raymond Owens for a live look at what's happening near Marion Square. Raymond, are you with us? Yes, uh, we just a minute ago we had uh, we had a number of or the, basically law enforcement uh, had some sort of speaker that said you're being ordered to disperse. We're going to fire tear gas, and they fired a number of canisters of tear gas. You can see one right here on uh, on on uh, King Street, on Calhoun Street, right here where I'm at. Um, people are still approaching law enforcement and and basically giving their you know talking to them, uh, telling them. I'm trying to see what's going on over here. There's a couple of cars driving up here. It looks like that car has something stuck underneath it. Um, a lot of the police cars that were out in the middle of the road here are now gone. So some officers have gone to other areas here because there were a number of cars right here uh, on Calhoun here and then also on the other side of King Street on Calhoun as well. We still have this large group of uh, officers in riot gear here at King Street. And uh, this is kind of where they were firing that the tear gas and the smoke. They had some smoke bombs. They were uh, firing from there as well. Uh, the Hotel Bennett, which is right down the street here from where we're standing, that's where you can see a large crowd of people gathered right there in front of the hotel. I don't know how well you can see it from where we're standing, but that's the Francis Marion. You kind of look beyond that where we're at here across King Street. That's the Hotel Bennett right there uh, at the intersection of Marion Square or, or next to Marion Square as well. And you can see a number of protesters are over there. Uh, they have been been here doing this, of course, uh, throughout the afternoon and into this evening. 
and of course it's taken a much more serious um, and the police as you see right here to the right right here at King Street let's come over here you can see the uh, this is sort of like I said the um, the wall of law enforcement if you will that's kind of uh, kept uh, a King Street kind of locked off once the pro once the protesters um, and you can see here uh, police officers you know we've got police uh, cars out in the road as well but they've been here kind of keeping King Street sort of locked off once the protesters left this portion of King Street they actually came back the, from the direction of the market made their way through here and then law enforcement kind of set up this wall to block off this section of town you see here I'm going to show you right now we've got a number of police cars coming down Calhoun let's see what happens here and we've got protesters across the street here as well it looks like these cars are trying to make it let's go here it looks like we're trying they're trying to they're opening a wall here for these police cars to get through the officers who are like I said in riot gear here um, like I said we don't know we can't we can just tell you what we're seeing here but uh, it's definitely definitely still a very very active situation I believe I'm trying to see I almost I almost thought I saw two helicopters in the, in the sky right now but there's one still going down King Street over here it's been uh, hovering over us for a good part of the, the afternoon and you can see here in the middle of King Street across from the officers you see the officers right here if you look straight back over here you've had individuals standing in the middle of, of King Street sort of shouting and, and saying things to the officers uh, we've had a number of people throwing bottles of water and other other things toward the officers a couple of times we've had some um, we've had some uh, a, a, a police car drive down King Street uh, okay we've got something going on here now looks like these are motorcyclists see what happens here they're revving their engines okay. right now They're driving around right there in front of them. of various types of protests here in downtown Charleston uh, and again you have these individuals that have been standing here in the middle of the road kind of doing a protest holding up a sign uh, we've heard a number of people chanting black lives matter a number of people obviously very very uh, upset here in downtown Charleston and uh, and like I said doing different different things to express that that frustration all right so basically that's what's going on here right now of course we're going to continue to bring you the latest from downtown charleston at marion square i'm raymond owens back to you Thank you, Raymond. What you just saw there live was people approaching Marion Square on motorcycles, throwing some kind of gas canister. Like I said, the evening taking a very chaotic turn. We also have News 2's Riley Benson standing by to bring us an update from another part of downtown Charleston. Riley, can you hear me? Yes, Taylor, I can hear you. I'm here on King Street. I'm, I'm standing basically in Marion Square, just off Marion Square on King Street. Um, a lot of heavy gas presence right now in the eyes and the mouth. Um, and we're on the other side of where Raymond Owens is. So Raymond Owens is on the other side of, of uh, the police presence. You can see over my shoulder. Um, people are now leaving. Um, guys, i got to send it back to you. Live in downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, count on two. We're getting Riley Benson to safety. What is happening from what I can see is that police are trying to get people to disperse from this area. Of course, curfew is at 11 o'clock. This is a countywide curfew. So police are trying to disperse people. They're apparently using tear gas at the moment. So we needed to get Riley to safety, which he is doing now. So we will continue to monitor conditions. Um, is Raymond standing by? Raymond may have had to go somewhere as well. Raymond, are you still there? We want to check back in with you over there. 
Raymond, what are conditions like over there? Yes, yeah, I'm I'm back here. I'm 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 here again on uh, Calhoun Street. Here, basically, conditions are very very tense. Uh, we understand. I was just told that there was actually a, a looting of the Apple Store on King Street. I did ask an officer if we could go down there to, to take a look at that. Right now, they're not allowing anyone at all down King Street, which is understandable at this time. I can see some broken glass here at the Walgreens, kind of behind us, uh, where we're at. If you know where Walgreens, right here on the corner of King and Calhoun, they have broken glass there as well. Um, you've got protesters across the street. It's obviously having all of those motorcycles come through here made it a very active scene here just a couple of minutes ago. Things are still tense, but we don't have any active uh, situation here right now that we that we saw a few minutes ago. We have a gentleman holding up a sign. I can't see the sign from where we're at here, but uh, he's been standing there holding up that sign for the last couple of minutes here. And we have people protesting uh, up and down King Street. Riley, like I said, uh, he's over there at the Hotel Bennett, which is kind of across uh, Marion Square from where we are at. But that's basically what's going on here. You can see the uh, law enforcement continues to have um, this uh, King Street here blocked off, with, and, and they're in riot gear and basically are kind of holding this area uh, at this time. And, um, and we've got there's just a lot of activity happening here in downtown Charleston. Live in downtown, I'm Raymond Owens. Back to you. Raymond, thank you. Just a quick correction to what I said earlier. We cannot confirm if that tear gas in the air was from law enforcement or demonstrators and protesters. We are working to learn that information. But nonetheless, there is tear gas in the Marion Square area that, of course, was affecting Riley as he tried to report. So we are still monitoring conditions. Um, Riley, I think, got over to a safer area. So we are going to try and check back in with Riley Benson. Riley, are you standing by? Riley, can you tell us a little bit about what happened earlier? Okay, I don't think Riley is standing by. We will check back in with him. There's just a lot going on right now. Of course, it's hard to see our city in this condition. Police are in riot gear standing by. There's multiple agencies downtown trying to regain control over what is taking place there now. What we know now is that multiple businesses have had windows smashed. That includes the ordinary Hotel Bennett, uh, Virginia's on King, multiple uh, Kim's on King. Uh, I mean, multiple businesses. We are hearing reports of the Apple Store being looted. We are are trying to confirm that, but boots on the ground, that is what we are hearing. We cannot get our guys over there at this time because of safety, of course. So, I mean, it's pretty much a showdown right now between these law enforcement officers and the protesters that are, you know, have been demonstrating all day and are still in the Marion Square area now. We're still monitoring things. We've got boots on the ground. Like I said earlier, the countywide curfew does go into effect in less than an hour at 11 o'clock. This applies to everyone in Charleston County, not just the city of Charleston. Although the city of Charleston, downtown Charleston specifically, is where we are seeing these demonstrations and protests right now that have taken a chaotic turn. That curfew is for the entire Charleston County from 11 o'clock, which is in less than an hour, until 7 a.m. in the morning. Now, uh, Mayor John Tecklenburg and Chief uh, Police Chief Luther Reynolds did hint earlier during a news conference that they may extend that curfew depending upon conditions. Earlier, Police Chief Luther Reynolds addressed what was happening in downtown Charleston, such as the window smashing and, and, and the violence, and he said that this is obviously not condoned. They do have law enforcement on scene ready to make arrests um, and monitoring the conditions. But... What it appears to be happening right now in Marion Square is just police trying to regain, regain control of this issue. Um, that is really all encompassing Marion Square and all of King Street for the most part for a few blocks around that Marion Square area. So uh, we're going to continue to monitor this. We have news to at 11, of course, and we will bring you updates of the day. You're taking a live look at Marion Square right now. Earlier, just a few moments ago, we actually we actually saw we actually saw some motorcycle demonstrators on motorcycles drive through and drop some gas cans, and we're working to learn what that is. But I believe we have Mayor John Tecklenburg standing by with a press conference from earlier in the day. So let's take a look at Mayor John Tecklenburg and what he had to say. So uh, we've asked the county uh, to do a countywide curfew. Uh, from 11 tonight till 7 in the morning. We think that'll keep everyone safe and express the importance, as the chief just mentioned. We've, we've got to do this peacefully, y'all. We've got to do this within the confines of law and order. 
we, we, we certainly um, advocate and, and, and are aligned with those who seek justice over this murder that occurred. We want that expression to occur, but it's got to be done peacefully. Of course, that's Mayor John Tecklenburg, mayor of city of Charleston talking. That was about two hours ago. He was addressing the protest and the demonstrations taking place in Marion Square. Of course, he says he does stand in solidarity with people that are angry over the, the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis earlier this week. However, they cannot condone the breaking of windows, any looting or anything like that happening in downtown Charleston. So that is why they have heavy police presence downtown right now monitoring conditions. And that is why they enacted the curfew at, that starts at 11 o'clock tonight. So we do have News 2's Hannah Powers standing by. We actually have her on the phone. She was off this evening having dinner with her family at The Ordinary on King Street, a few blocks away from Marion Square, when a brick was thrown in the window of the restaurant she was dining in. Hannah, are you standing by? Hi, Taylor. Can you hear me? I can hear you, Hannah. Can you tell us a little bit about the conditions at the Ordinary? Earlier, you told me that the, everyone in the restaurant was asked to shelter in place. Right, and Taylor, I want to let you know things have actually really escalated since the last time I checked in with you. So, update on what's happening now. Lots of profanity being spray painted on the building across the street. I just talked to my waiter. They delivered our dinners in a takeaway box, and they're asking everybody to leave immediately. And they're actually asking us to use the back door. Front doors locked. The the blinds have been drawn, and they're sneaking us out into the back door. Um, because things have gotten increasingly more violent and dangerous. I mean, waiters are in tears. And so myself, my mother, and my father, and one other couple here at the restaurant are the last people here. Everybody else has left. But again, we're a little bit concerned because the condition of the street right now is uh, very, very dangerous, to say the least. And again, earlier when I checked in with you about 30 minutes ago, the brick had been thrown through the window, injuring the woman at the bar. And then since then, things have gotten increasingly violent. So again, uh, waiters are very worried here, and they're, they're trying to usher us out of here as quickly as possible through the back door into the alley to try and avoid uh, some of the things that are happening outside the storefront. Uh, lots of screaming and yelling and profanity and all of those things. Uh, everything you could imagine and more is completely happening here. Hannah, from what I can see live in Marion Square, there is a police presence, but it almost seems that there's even more demonstrators and more protesters than it seems like we're seeing police on the ground. I mean, do you feel like there's a strong enough police presence over where you are? Well, Taylor, I'll tell you right now, um, I cannot see any flashing lights and things like that. I only see the protesters. I am absolutely sure that our Charleston Police Department and all the other law enforcement agencies in the area are doing their part in full force, but the numbers of people are, are incredible. Obviously, my parents are from out of town. They were staying at a, at a hotel on King Street. I'm now uh, worried for them. I, I don't want them going back there. We will be kicked out of this restaurant very soon. Management is trying to shut down as quickly as possible. Uh, we went from shelter in place to now they are just trying to get everybody out of Absolutely, here. Absolutely, Hannah. I will, uh, Hannah, I'm going to interrupt uh, you really quickly. Absolutely, Hannah. I'm going to interrupt you really quickly. We yes. will check back in with you. I know that you were sheltering in place, and the ordinary is now asking you to leave. The reason I interrupt is we want to take you guys right to a live look at the Apple Store on King Street with News 2's Riley Benson. Riley, can you hear me? Can you tell me what happened here? Well, Taylor, we're here on King Street, right outside the Apple Store. I'm going to go ahead and step away so you can take a look. We really just got on scene. We, we weren't here when this happened, but um, the alarm is still going off. There are still security and crime scene people, uh, police inside, checking out the scene, trying to determine, obviously, uh, when and how this happened. Um, but again, you're seeing right now, this is behind the police presence on King Street. So um, not as many people, um, not as tense of a situation here, but uh, obviously you can see massive damage to the Apple's front store here. Uh, one door is completely shattered and then the top window, and then on the far side, uh, you can see that window is broken as well. But again, not a lot of presence here. Again, crime scene units, police are on scene trying to obviously determine what happened, when it happened, um, and they're working to keep everyone safe. So um, we're going to continue to check in with you guys live from downtown Charleston. Riley Benson, count on two. Bye. Can you still hear me? Riley, what I want to know is were you able to see people taking things from the store? What did it look like when you got there? Was the store being robbed? Well, 
Taylor, no, when we got here, the only person inside is still the crime scene unit technician who's still inside right now, um, kind of checking things out. Uh, I can't really tell. I mean, it looks like things may have been taken, but I really don't want to go ahead and say that without confirming that. Um, we can still see some obvious devices. There's some phones, some computers, but um, when we got here, there was really no one here other than police and crime scene units. Um, kind of working the scene, trying to figure out when and how this happened. But no, there was nobody actively looting um, when we arrived here at Apple Taylor. Thank you so much, Riley. All right, Riley, thank you. And like you just heard, Riley is at the Apple Store on King Street, where it appears, well, we can see that the windows were crashed at the Apple Store. He's still working to learn more. There is a crime scene investigator from the city of Charleston walking through the Apple Store at the moment. We still have News 2's Raymond Owen standing by. He's still in Marion Square. Raymond, let me know if you got me. We want to go to you now. Raymond, tell us a little bit about what's happening over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm here at Marion Square, and you can see that well, we still have basically this standoff between some protesters and then this uh, large group of, of police officers who are waiting here. Now, I did want to confirm uh, confirm to you that they were firing tear gas. We did, we definitely know that law enforcement did fire some tear gas because they actually announced that ahead of time. And it seems like we have another motorcycle that may be uh, riding up here. It looks like they decided to turn around. Um, but there's a number of people all throughout here. Everywhere you look in every direction, all the way around, there are some people uh, out here, different protesters. Not everyone's uh, saying much, but they're all out here uh, as part of this uh, scene here. You can see King Street, of course, like I said, blocked off here at Calhoun uh, by these uh, members of law enforcement in riot gear. And uh, they have been uh, firing some smoke bombs and some, uh, some tear gas. And also, like I said, they even announced the tear gas ahead of time, saying they're getting ready to fire tear gas. And then I think two or three tear gas contain canisters were fired over over into the street here. And those things work immediately. I mean, your eyes, your nose, you can definitely tell uh, you cannot stay right where you're at when that tear gas uh, does start to come out of the canister. So we see now a number of police cars are riding up Calhoun Street again. Like I said earlier, they, they actually had, we didn't have quite so many police officers that they were, they were leaving this area, the actual cars, but it looks like they are now back here. Hold on a second, I'm hearing something. Oh, it looks like they were, they were announcing that to everyone to get back, that they're getting ready to fire, and they just fired. It looks like, you can see down here, that's by the Hotel Bennett's, where that, um, the smoke is. That, I don't know, if, I'm assuming that may be a smoke canister or it could be tear gas. I don't know for sure, but definitely a lot of smoke uh, coming out of whatever was fired here. And like I said, that came from here, from where the uh, law enforcement officers were kind of headed that direction. But they did uh, get on the um, on the intercom and tell people to, to back up some. Uh, I didn't really see anybody moving, though. It's pretty much kind of staying. People are sort of staying where they're at. There's a number of people here in Marion Square over by the Hotel Bennett. Also, even, you know, small groups of people on either side of Calhoun from where, I at, where I'm at right this minute. Um, just a lot of chaos here. I've seen a couple of individuals getting into arguments uh, amongst each other, um, discussing political issues and discussing, you know, the problem, obviously, that the, the concerns about violence. But, um, but that's basically what's going on out here right now, Taylor. I mean, it's just a very, very tense scene. We let you go. I would love to know. Do you feel that people are starting to move away from this area? I know police have made multiple attempts to clear the area this evening, and we're quickly approaching the 11 o'clock Charleston County curfew. I, I don't feel. I mean, I feel like there's still a lot of people here. It's hard to tell exactly how many because there's people also in Marion Square. There's still a number of people down the street here, but I also see. If you look down down King Street past Hotel Bennett, you can see law enforcement down there as well. I did not earlier see uh, police cars over in that area, so they may be preparing for that 11 o'clock curfew and kind of stationing themselves to start to um, kind of seal off everything around 11 o'clock. I don't know how how um, doable that even is with the number of people here and the number of law enforcement here and just the seriousness of which we've been watching all of this happen for the last few hours right here in downtown Charleston. So I don't know if they're 
if people are moving from this area, it certainly seems like there's a lot of people still out here at this time. And Raymond, is there still traffic moving through the area of possible maybe civilians moving through the area? I know a lot of people were dining in restaurants at King Street, King, in, on King Street, excuse me, when a lot of this broke out. Well, you can't go down King Street. I can't even go down King Street right now. That's pretty much blocked off, at least here at Marion Square. Now, you might be able to come back from the other direction on King Street. I do know you just see some vehicles driving through here. Here's a truck right here, another vehicle driving through. There, has been, there have been a few vehicles coming through here sporadically, not a whole lot. Um, but I guess it's just if someone wants to drive down there, I, I guess they, they can find a way in, into King Street. I would definitely not advise that, though, at this time. Thank you, Raymond. And of course, what you just saw was our reporters and our crew that are in downtown Charleston right now monitoring conditions of a demonstration and a protest that started earlier today, but then kind of took a more chaotic turn. Of course, what we showed you live was multiple businesses, including the Hotel Bennett, the Ordinary, the Apple Store on King Street, all had their windows smashed as police try and regain control of this area through the use of tear gas, asking people to move out of the area. Of course, they've been asking people to relocate. And, and go home for a while now, and we're quickly approaching the 11 o'clock Charleston County curfew. So we're continuing to monitor conditions. I believe News 2's Riley Benson is standing by. Riley, can you hear me? Yeah, Taylor, I can hear you. And again, we're here on King Street, just outside the Apple Store, where we, where we were when we joined you last time. Uh, I just spoke with a man, an individual who was here uh, when this actually occurred. He told me it was just after nine o'clock, um, so about an hour and a half ago. Um, he told me a group of people uh, obviously broke down the door, uh, went inside. They did get some stuff, some items out. Um, don't know why, obviously, um, but he told me he could see some people um, taking some items out of this store. Um, again, I, I did try to speak with authorities, police here on the scene. Um, they weren't able to share any information with me uh, as far as what happened and what the latest is. Um, but again, I did speak with an individual who was here when this did occur. Um, he was here, and again, we'll let you see, see so you can see it clearly. Um, when these doors, the windows were broken into, when the group of people went inside this building, um, and he, he was able to tell us that some things were taken out of the store. Again, I don't know anything else other than that. Um, and like I said, police are still here on the scene. Um, the crime scene unit gentleman is pulling away right now. So um, obviously, probably, um, you know, an active scene still. And we're going to continue to monitor things here on King Street. Again, King Street, this is the Apple store. Um, and that individual who I spoke to just before we came on camera told me um, that this store is broken into right around 9 o'clock, kind of when things started to pick up uh, intensity. Uh, around this area on King Street, and then obviously the uh, police moved that group back down King Street towards the Hotel Bennett. So again, we're going to bring you live updates throughout the night on King Street in downtown Charleston. Okay. Riley, before we let you go, if you can still hear me, I think a lot of people want to know what the other stores look like yep. on King Street right now. Are you seeing broken windows in other businesses as well? Well. Taylor and kind of like Raymond has been talking about this section of King Street where we're at uh, this has been the only store that we've seen with the window uh, broken in that we've seen since we left the Marion Square area obviously that line of law enforcement police are set up right there um, by Moe's if you're familiar with the area um, and on this side of King Street it's really clear um, again the cop cars different things police cars excuse me are kind of clearing this area a lot of this streets, the stores, the windows are not really broken here, Taylor. But on the other side, when we joined you by Hotel Bennett, things were really starting to pick up in intensity. A lot of windows were starting to be smashed, including the Hotel Bennett, which we showed you. Riley, thank you.